get the best result. Ralphie, I mentioned there, what I think is the story of the week is Paddy Ryder. Uh, what's going on there? Well, Mark Thompson almost flippant today as he discussed the effects of Paddy Ryder after he, the revelation that he does want to leave the football club. As you say, potentially as many as two months ago we started discussing this. Now, um, I've spoken today some, to some people who confirmed that he would be able to be paid whatever he wanted, potentially up to 800000 of the club like the Essendon Football Club, uh, at, like the Brisbane Football Club if he did leave. Now, a lot of player managers out there are quite sceptical and they believe this is just a bargaining tool for him to get that sweetheart deal. But I think until we actually hear from Paddy himself and his wife, we won't know the mental language which, with which he is being put through. Now, Essendon is trying to drive a wedge between him and his manager, Paul Connors. I'm not sure that's going to work. Here's what Mark Thompson had to say about the effect of the drama on Paddy. We haven't talked about it at team meetings or uh, I haven't really spoken about it at all, to be honest. Um, I don't think it'll detract from his performance on Saturday. And um, I think he's going to just give everything he's got to the team for this year. And whatever happens next year, that's Hurdy's problem. Hey, Ralphie, just before we go on, and I'll throw this to the guys, Brisbane have got uh, 5% or 6% extra in their salary cap. They've yep. been paying about 94%. They can go to 105%, but they're $12 million in the red and bleeding another three this year, recurring. Mm -hmm. How do we sort this out? Because we need them to be a good side. We need all clubs to be able to pay 100% of the salary cap. But is it the right thing that they're going to be leaking more money going after Paddy Wright? It's not the, it might not be the right thing, but that's what happens in the AFL at the moment. Yeah, but at some it? stage, just like the subprime, yeah. uh, somebody knocks on your door and say, OK, mm. now you have to pay but up. The, but there's no threat for that to happen at clubs at the moment, is there? The interesting no. thing is, Ed, from what I understand, it's not Brisbane going after Paddy Wright, or it's Paddy Wright going after Brisbane. Right now they've got Lewenberg and they've got Steph Martin. They're well served in that department. You can always do with another A-grade player, but... What are you going to do with him? He becomes almost a forward target, and they've got heaps of young kids there. It's, that not, the first, it's not the first Jared. time I'll ask this question in the next year, by the way. Hey, Jared, Brisbane went for Tippett too, but he ended up somewhere else. Yeah. So he may end up at the same place. Oh, you think Paddy Ryder could end up at the Swans? Well, they need, <laughs> they need a Ruckman. Apparently they've got some room in their salary cap. Yeah. I don't know how, but they apparently... Oh. If you don't have one, you've got room, haven't you? <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> Let's go back to...